Alright, so a couple of you guys asked me to make a video about this on how to measure your shim to guide clearance and make sure your rocker arms aren't moving back and forth on you. So here's a couple things that you're going to need to start off. You need a tool similar to this. Essentially what it is is your dial gauge holder. Now what this does is it slots down into where the lifter goes and you can rotate it back and forth to measure the clearance or the difference in height between your guide and your shim. All right, now onto the other tools that you need. This is the dial gauge indicator. The one that I have here, it's about 45 bucks, give or take on Amazon. This one's good down to 0 0.001 millimeter. Now the spec on the clearance between your guide and your shim is 0 0.025 millimeters. So you want to have something that's nice and accurate. Okay, so now we have the indicator inside our little holding tool, which slides down into the lifter valley. Now we have it on our guide here. Now I'm going to a dual guide setup, so that's why you see another guide here. So what we're gonna do to get our measurement to make sure the height is within 0 0.025 millimeters of each other is now that this is fully seated, you know, make sure it's pressed down, zero it out. Now you can go ahead and lift up on this. Slowly swing this guy around, set it back down. Let me see if I can spin this over so you guys can see it. So now make sure this is fully seated down in there and we have our measurement. Now you can see that this guide is 0 0.067 millimeters lower than our other guide over here. So that means since this one's lower, we're gonna have to grind this one down to make sure we get this number here within 0 0.025 millimeters. All right, so now I went ahead and I've removed the material from that specific guide. So the one on the right, we had to take down a little bit of material. You can just take it, grind it on some sandpaper. Just don't go overkill because it doesn't take a whole lot to remove the material you need. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and double check our measurement. And I've zeroed this one out, so we'll go ahead and move it over here. And as you can see, looks like our measurement is negative 0 0.014 millimeters, which is well within the tolerance, which is plus or minus 0 0.025 millimeters. Now it can be a pain to measure me these, so you're gonna have to go back and forth, you know, double check, triple check, quadruple check, you know, however many times until you're sure you have an accurate measurement for the height between both shims. And then to wrap it up, and of course, you know, you're going to have to go each slot in the head and go all the way around, do every single one of these. It's going to be a pain. It's a long time consuming process, but trust me, it'll be well worth it because you want to make sure that you get everything within that factory tolerance or else things are not going to go so well.